Uh, welcome to the fourth video logs and exponential topic. Well, today we're looking at linearizing data. Okay, so a couple of things we need to be able to do. Uh, I'm not going to go through in too much detail because it's very much something that you'll look at at the end and know much more about. Uh, okay, but when data from an experiment doesn't always come out in a in a straight line, it doesn't always come out in a nice uh, in a nice relationship like a straight line or a parabola or a cubic or even. So, but a lot of time, particularly when we talk about these examples, I mentioned a good few times now. Particularly in relation to uh, the, the decay of bacteria or population growth or anything like this, it comes out with an exponential relationship. Now, an exponential relationship from the data is very difficult to take out these values. Okay, what what the multiplier is, what the power is, it's very tricky to do that. But if you can turn your straight line into a straight line, uh, sorry, if you can turn your exponential relationship into a straight line relationship, you can start to do that. Now, in order to do that, you can do that with logs by taking the logs of both sides and turning it into a relationship that way. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just going to jump into a couple of examples of the kx to the power n and then a couple of examples of a different format. Okay, but it's very much just a look at and do a process, like kind of bonus level question. Okay, so here we have such a relationship that has been turned into a straight line. Okay, and we are looking to find out the data, the relationship between the data y equals kx to the power n. Okay, now what we're going to do to start off this is just work with the straight line. Here we have two points. We actually have the y-intercept as well, so we can get the equation of a straight line relatively straightforward. Okay, so the gradient, uh, we do y2 minus y1 is going to be 5 over 4. Okay, and the y-intercept is 3. So actually straight away we can do y equals mx plus c. Okay, but two things, actually, it's not y equals mx plus c. It's log to the base 2 of y, because that's what the axis is. And it's log to the base 2 of x. Okay, and that, um, well, let's just put in what it actually is. That gradient's 5 over 4. And then that c is 3. Now, our trick here is to make this equation look like y equals kx to the power n. And I'm sure I'll have to tell you the difference between the equation we have at the minute from the straight line and where we're trying to get to is that there's no logs. So we're essentially going to solve the log equation. We're going to cancel, we're going to get a single log on both sides and cancel out the log to leave me with y equals kx to the power n. Okay, a little bit of a problem here. That 3 doesn't have a log, so I'm going to introduce one. So log y to the base 2 is 5 quarters log x to the base 2 plus 3 log my log I need to introduce, I know the basement needs to match the number. I'm working on base 2 here, so it's 2 to the base 2. Then I've got powers at the front, so those powers can fly up. So it's log to the base 2, x to the power 5 over 4, plus log 2 cubed to the base 2. Okay, we're adding two logs here. So we've got log y is equal well, we're adding two logs in over times, and 2 cubed is 8, so it's log to the base 2 of 8x to the power 5 over 4. So you can see we're doing the similar type of thing that we are doing to solve log equations. And now we can just cancel single log, single log, cancel that single log, so it's y is equal to 8x to the power 5 over 4. Okay, and that was straight line equation that you can develop from data allows that to be done much easier. Okay, now I said to you it's a kind of bonus level question, these things don't tend to change very much. Okay, there's only one change we're going to deal with in a wee second, but here's another example for you to try. Okay, that base is a 3, in case it's difficult to see. Okay, so pause the video and give that a bash. Okay, so here, firstly, we can find the gradient for minus 2 over 6 minus 0, so 2, 6, is a third, and the y-intercept is 2. So the equation is going to be log y to the base 3, because that's what my y-axis is, is equal to the gradient times the x-axis, which in this case is the log x to the base 3 plus 2. Okay, now we want to get to the point where it's y equals kx to the power n again. Okay, and I'll always be given in the equation, uh, in the question, sorry. So I need to introduce a log here to that too. So log y to the base 3 is equal to a third log x to the base 3 plus 2 log, in this case, is going to be 3 to the base 3 because we're working on base 3. Powers will fly up. So it's log x to the power of third to the base 3 plus log of 3 squared to the base 3. You're adding two logs there, which means your time and times and what's in behind the base. 
So it's c squared is 9, so it's log to the base 3 of 9x to the power of a third. Single log, single log, sorry, I missed out my base 3 there. So y is equal to 9x to the power of a third. Okay, job done. Now we're going to look at uh, cases where we don't have a log y and a, rec, a log x rev uh, relationship. We've got log, x, log y and to the base x. And this happens when x is in the power rather than uh, being raised to a power. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing here essentially. There's just going to be a little bit more manipulation. Just one step more manipulation. Okay, so there's your example. Give it a lash. Okay, give it a try. Okay, again we're working in log y to the base 3. So the gradient here is a ninth when you calculate it. The y-intercept is 4. So let's get a straight line equation down. Log y to the base 3 is equal to a ninth. In this case it's just x plus 4. So a little bit of a difference, a little bit of a problem. In this case we've got two things that don't have a log involved. So guess what? We're going to put that in. Okay, so log y to the base 3 is equal to a ninth x, we need to give itself its own log, so it'll be log 3 to the base 3 there, and then plus 4 log 3 to the base 3. Okay, so you can see from then on it's going to be pretty much exactly the same, and I would do exactly the same, maybe a wee twist in the tail at the end, but we'll deal with that when we get there. So firstly, it's going to be 3 to the power of a ninth x to the base 3, plus log to the base 3 of 3 to the power of 4. Again, times in two log, adding two logs, so we're times them what's inside the base. So to the base three, three to the power of four is eighty one, and then it's times three to the power ninth of x. Okay, now you need to do that there because if you just do that as eighty one times three, you're ignoring bid mass. Okay, so just it's going to look a bit less pretty, but it's still going to be pretty obviously because it's maths. Okay, so it's eighty one times three to the power ninth of x. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to just turn it into the format. Now, you've done most of your work here. Okay, but remember, you can split up that power there, so 3 to the power 9th uh, to the power x, because it, what we've been asked to make it look like is essentially x by itself in the power. So 3 to the power 9th, if you use your calculator, and you will have your calculator do this, obviously, you want to straight you to the power 9th like that, is 1.13. So I'm just going here to give myself a bit of space y is equal to 81 times 1.13, oops, sorry, just pause a wee second there, to the power x. Okay, so same idea, get your straight line down, uh, put in your logs, and then manipulate your logs to just a wee twist in the tail at the end. Okay, so another example here. Give it a second, a wee try, and then I'll go over it. Okay, so firstly, your gradient. Gradient works out to be negative 5 over 3 and your y-intercept is 2. So log to the base 10 of y is equal to minus 5 thirds of x plus 2. Two things need a log here, so I'm going to put those two things in. Log y to the base 10 is equal to minus 5 thirds of x. Log 10 to the base 10 plus 2. Log 10 to the base 10. Powers fly up. So it's log to the base 10 of 10 to the power minus 5 over 3x plus log to the base 10 of 10 squared. Now we're times in. Okay, you can see how these questions just become very similar very quickly. So 10 squared is 100. So it's log to the base 10 of 100 multiplied by 10 to the minus 5 thirds x, which when you cancel the logs, log to the base 10y, Oh, nonsense, sorry. I said I was going to cancel logs, I never did it. Okay, y is equal to 100 times 10 to the power minus 5 thirds x. And last thing, just to tidy up, we're going to do that 10 to the power minus 5 thirds. Which gives you 0 0.022. So y is equal to 100 times 0 0.022 to the power x. Okay, right, just have a wee look at the success criteria here. So find the equation of line in terms of the logarithms given. So that's when you get the line, just deal with that equation. Okay, manipulate that in 
the equation of straight line integers designed for them, and then state the unknown values, which actually I did not do at any point. Okay, but at the end, you can just state your A and your Bs, but it should be enough factor to do that in terms of the thing. Okay, so those are the three things we're looking to do. Okay, thanks, here.